What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the iSpring Cam Pro software, what it can do, how to record your screen with voiceover, annotations, comments, how to also edit your videos, and also how to upload your content onto the iSpring cloud. So if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to smash the like button down below. Also subscribe to the channel to not miss out any more future uploads. And with that all the way, guys, I would say let's get started into iSpring Cam Pro right after the intro. Alright guys, so right here, right now we're on the website from iSpring, which is also in the link down in the description. So right here we have all our buttons for our downloading, we have the pricing, we also have our system requirements if you're wondering if your system is strong enough. So this is actually the minimum that you need when it comes to hardware, 4 gigabytes of memory and all the software such as Windows 7 or higher. 32 or 64 bit and then just viewing video like the player windows and all just the softwares as well so that's very very nice so once we go back to this page you can click on this green button that says free download and then we're gonna get started all right guys so as you can see right now this is iSpring cam pro we have our main menu right here so right here we have the tutorials button which basically means that you have video tutorials about the iSpring products we have a help button we have the community, we have about, we have feedback, we have updates for the program itself, and then we also have ask a question. Right now we're gonna focus on screen recording because let's say that you are tired of using OBS or OBS is lagging or it's crashing or whatever it does that doesn't work for you. Right now we're gonna use this one to show you that it's really, really nice how this essentially works. So right here we're gonna hit screen recording, new recording, and then right here we can immediately select our zone. What do we want to record? So right here we have the screen. So which actual screen do you want to go and record is also what we can choose because if you have multiple monitors you can choose which one do you want so right here it says screen area so let's say they want to have a certain area that's only this rectangle we have also full screen or an application meaning that if you have a program open you can only capture that software so if you go out of that software for a second but not close it it will still keep capturing that application very nice we have our presets so this is basically the resolution such as 16 by 9 which is of course a rectangle but we we also have 4x3 which is of course as you see a square. Most of the time the videos are 1920x1080 or just the rectangle resolution so we're gonna hit that but also you can choose the custom ones if you want to, don't want to have full HD you can also fill in 1280x720 which is also just the same resolution as you notice right here but a little bit smaller because it's 720p and then right here we also have our microphone that is going up and down because right now we also have signal it is recording but of course you can always select the proper output if you have a usb microphone that will also be popping up right here so right here you can also choose do you want to have your resolution in a square or in a rectangle 4x3 or 16 by 9 you also have the dimensions and of course the microphone over webcam but of course i would actually recommend you instead of just using the microphone from your webcam which is 9 out of 10 not the best quality so right here we also have screen and camera which basically means that you can also use picture in picture meaning that you can also use your recording area which is of course the screen or it's going to be full screen the preset is also custom if you want that and it's also very cool that you can just use your screen capturing with your webcam as well all right so now let's go ahead and record this separate area so right now what we're going to do is we're going to hit this settings button just for a second just to make sure that all the settings right here are optimized so the hotkeys is very very nice you can just press you know the f9 button to pause and resume the recording you can stop recording by pressing f10 and you can also discard the recording just deleting it by holding shift plus f10 and then these are just these settings you can optimize and of course right here in the devices menu you also have like some other settings you can go and customize completely to your wants and needs it's very very nice so once we're done with that we're gonna hit okay right now we're going to click on this red record button and as you can see right now it gives us a nice countdown and as you can see right now it is recording the audio it is also giving us a timer at the bottom of course that's outside of the screen so you don't see how long you're recording in 
the actual video. We have our audio going up from our microphone. We have the pause and the stop button. So if you want to just pause it, because let's say that you have to, you know, be AFK for a second from your computer, you can just pause it without interrupting. And then you can just click on continue. And if you're ready and if you're done, you want to click on stop. Okay, so right now, once we hit stop right here, this window prompts screen recording complete. You can add annotations for all captured keystrokes and mouse clicks. Annotations will be automatically displayed and can be added further. Add annotations to the screen recording if you want that. So let's click on there and let's click on customize annotations. So right here, as you see, we have our profiles. We can just choose like light, dark, blue, orange, green. I would think blue would look very nice. But right here, we have the font as well, which is basically allowing us to add in text. So right here, we also have the size. We have the background color and the outline color as well. So now that we've done that, we can just go and click on the save button. And then we're going to hit continue. And then it's going to prompt us this box where we can go and also watch this tutorial as well. But all the links are in the description down below, guys. This video is three minutes. I'm going to actually skip that for now because I'm actually really, really excited to be able to show you that you can also go and edit your videos. So let's make this window just a little bit bigger or actually maximize it completely. So this is the editor within the software, which is very, very nice. We have our timeline at the bottom with our video and our audio. We have a preview. It's almost looking like it's like a real, real video editor, which it actually is. Within the software, very, very nice. At the top, of course, we have our main menus. We have the video border. We have the video effects, such as a shadow or a glow. And then we can also click on reset video if you want to undo any changes. So let's go and also see how the editing works. So right here at the bottom, we have our timelines. If you move your cursor right here, you can also press S on your keyboard to split it. As you notice, that's how you can also make a cut in your recording. So let's say that you have, for example, paused your recording and you have like a really, let's say a five minute silence in your recording. You can just delete that real simple by just pressing S on your keyboard. And then you can just go and drag that part. Let's say that this is a silence right here until right here and then you can just go and press s again and then you can delete that part and then you can just go and do it like this you can create these really cool jump cuts as well guys and that's really really cool how you can go and also edit your videos in the software itself as well you can also have you know these overlapping transitions so if you make this little crossfade that it comes into the blue zone you're going to right click on it and then it says change transition and then we have all kinds of options such as a fade we have a wipe of course it's not visible because it's all white but that's how you really really easily insert these transitions as well you can browse through your timeline right here if you hold this button as well we have of course the space button to play it back to also pause it so once you have finished editing your video and it is ready to publish it online what we're going to do is we're going to select everything in our timeline make sure everything is in the blue zone you can also go and click on record mic if you want to record that separately instead of you know at the same time of recording video that's also possible and then we also have video the audio Audio. Once we have finished editing, we're going to right click right here and then we're going to hit export project. Give this a name. Let's say I'm going to call this one iSpring tests and let's go and put this one onto our desktop. All right, so right here it is. But as you notice, it is actually the file itself. It is not like MP4. We didn't render anything. So that's how you go and click on this menu again. And you want to hit publish. Okay, so right here in this menu, we can click on publish to my computer, which is basically going to, you know, export it into a rendered file. So the project name, let's say I'm going to call this iSpring rendered video. I'm going to just add this one to my videos folder. And then right here we have the format, which is going to be MP4. We also have the settings, which is of course our resolution 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720. And then the quality, I would actually put this one all the way up to the best. It's going to take a little bit longer to export, but I just want to have the fullest quality possible. And then right here we can hit publish, or you can also click on the iSpring cloud, which is basically allowing you to share your presentations and e-learning courses online with just a couple of clicks. So let's go and browse through, publish your presentations, courses and quizzes directly to iSpring Cloud. Get a short link, embed on web pages or post on social media. Your presentations play perfectly on smartphones, desktop PCs and tablets. And then you can click on start now and then you can just sign up. You can create an account and then you can just upload it straightly onto the iSpring Cloud. You will get a link like they actually stated. Everything is fully playable on every device. Next button is the iSpring Learn, a full feature platform for online training and assessment. Upload courses to the LMS and invite your learners. Cloud-based solution, no installation, no IT hassle. Evaluate the effectiveness of your training with detailed reports and statistics. Your learners
users can take courses from their phones and tablets anytime, anywhere. And you can also click on start now to log in as well or sign up if you don't have an account yet. And then right here, of course, we have the regular YouTube button, which is that you can sign in into your YouTube account and then you are able to upload it from here with the same settings. We have our category visibility right here, like public, private, unlisted. We have our title, we have our description, we have the quality, everything like that. So this is how you go and record your screen, how to edit it, how to share it, how to upload them to YouTube. It is very, very nice. All the links are down below. All right, guys, so that is for this video. This is how to use iSpring Cam Pro in its full glory. Now, of course, all the links are in the description down below to get started. Oh, and by the way, guys, iSpring Cam Pro is available for purchase as a standalone product, and it's also a part of the iSpring Suit Max, the iSpring PowerPoint-based e-learning authoring tool. So all the info is in the description down below as well, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and also thanks to iSpring for sponsoring this video, and I will see you guys, obviously, in the next video video.